turn 34, January 9th, 42. Let's see how much more pressure we can put on Rob. Hey, I'll just hit the dot base. Interesting. I'm just moving through that area. And there's some ships there, huh? My guess is neither one of us wanted the fight. All right, day phase here. Morning air phase. Bad weather, bad weather, bad weather, bad weather. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't change those guys. Ah, crap. Totally forgot. So worried about trying to get a turn flipped around today. Just totally skip the air and, and Formosa. That's going to cost me. I don't care about, about losing lilies. Nels and Bettys, I do. And these guys are still worth points, but the only, only real issue is uh, pilots. That's a good hit. And Nate and Sergeant aren't going to have enough firepower to probably kill these guys. But we can damage them. Make them bring them down for a repair. They're flying out of Changsha. Maybe, maybe we'll bomb Changsha. I uh, don't want to do that because they have those uh, uh, allied uh, supplied AA units there. They have some decent AA there. B25s now, huh? All right, that's the morning phase. Yep, I knew this was coming. Damn it. I knew I had another strike or two coming in. Well, only it looks like we lost three, maybe. Recon, recon. All right, that's the afternoon phase. We'll finish off the naval phase. And then we'll move, the ground move, and then uh, we will do uh, ground combat. Here we go. Shock attack at Yenin.
He has maybe 600 assault value here. It's going to depend on forts. All right, level three force. Yep, that's going to hurt. All right. We should push him off off our rail here. He should maybe I'm hoping flee west across the river there. Yes, alright. Out in the middle of nowhere. Beat up pretty good as well. Alright, let's we should take this dot base and wipe this unit out. He has nowhere to run. There he goes. Banzai! Here comes another attack. Yep, he got it. Yep. It's a matter of time. Alright, we're going to expand some bases, then go through production. And when that's done, we will go ahead and pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, and come back and we'll go over the after action reports. All right, another quick and easy turn here. Um, other than the incident up in uh, up in Burma, uh, score wise, we went up thirteen. He went up thirty seven. In the air, he lost three. We lost twenty four. Wow, wow. We uh, not happy. I did. I forgot to change some orders, and my bombers got mauled because of it. So you can see right here, we lost 17 Bettys, 13 were air to air, four were ops. We lost four Lilies, three to air to air, one to ops. We lost an Oscar to ops, a Babs to ops, a Nell to air to air. He lost a Warha, a P40, and a B17, and a DC2. So we lost 24 planes, which is where all his points came from. Six pilots confirmed dead, 11 missing, so 17 pilots lost because I'm a dumbass and forgot to turn the bombs off and they ran right back in, into that cap trap again. So I'm not real happy about that, but it's water under the bridge. I gotta just do just do better down the road. So we'll go hop right into production, aircraft and engines. Let's see, 28, 36, 42, 43 engines. Four Oscars, four Zeros, two Nels, two Vows, two Kates, one of everything else. Device-wise, we built some support, some engineers, some AT guns, some motorized support, heavy machine gunners, and then down into your basic guns and sound detectors and that kind of crap. Go ahead and pull up Combat Reporter. See nothing, nothing on the ground. Up there in China, we attacked, got seven to one odds, pushed them out, clearing the road there. At Lashio, unfortunately, he attacked and got three to one and captured the base. It was a matter of time. We knew it was coming. We lost 500 dead and wounded. So 100 of his. He took Lashio back and we retreated to the southwest here. We attacked at Nema Tantane, um, dot base there, wiped out that unit, that uh, little koi that's been fleeing from the north, and took the dot base. 
and we crossed into into Yenin across the river, did a shock attack, um, got pretty much beat up. You see, we lost we lost two thousand men. He lost four hundred. So we're sitting in in uh, Yenin, got to be there a couple of days, resting and re and recovering. Amphibious wise, we landed troops at at Mass uh, Mass uh, Beite in the air, pretty much bombing of China, and you can probably see. Yeah, here's one of the here's part of the cap trap. You can see where uh, Lily's ran into the into the AVG, and there's some Sally's going into them, and there's my Betty's and Nell's going into them. So yeah, and then him bombing me. Uh, where is it? Right there at the Lashio. So, not a good day for us. Signal intelligence, waste of time. There they are. Let's see. We wrote up one, two, three, four Bettys. One Babs. Got some upgrades at Mulmeen. Upgrade at Kwajalein. That's it. All right. Replacements. All the days are in the pool. That's nice. Some of the nates are in the pool, and and we still have two ta two thalias in the pipeline. Uh, we got a, a sub repaired at Babel. Everything else is unrepairable in where they're at. We built two airfields, one at Canton, one at Sarong. And that's about it for Coast Watcher, I mean for the combat reporter. Let's go ahead and hop into the game. There's our guys retreated out of out of Lashio. We're not in bad shape for being beat up and pushed out, so we're we're just gonna try to cause some trouble now until we get more men up up into Burma. Grabbing Lashio was a stretch. Um, we we tried to see if we can grab it and just and uh, hold it, and we held it for quite a while. We held it for over a month. So let's see, we got men here. They're moving north. They should get there maybe next turn. More guys moving up. We're, we are at Mergai. We should attack and kill that guy this this turn. Oh, he's he's on, he's on. Looks like he's on defend Pegu and not uh, Rangoon. And that or he's trying to flee up the road. One or the other. Down in Malaya, we're still assembling our forces. He has moved onto our rail and road blocking us, so we're going to move down there and kick him out. Hopefully, we'll destroy that unit. Borneo, we have caught up with the fleeing troops there. We will attack. In the Philippines, we're just waiting for our troops to march into uh, into uh, into Bataan. It'll be a while yet. It's like a four-day march from Clark. So we saw probably two to three days. Probably four days before all of our, all of our forces are there. We land the troops here. We will take that base. Nothing really going on in the DEI. We're hauling some oil out of there. To the south, not much really going on. You can see, come back up. Let's take a look at our picket line. Let's see, light clouds, light clouds, extreme, heavy rain, extreme. So we got two, two pair. Not a whole lot going on. Bunch of ships coming back to Japan. And then the mess up in China. We have reached here. We will be attacking here. Most likely pushing this guy west. We got to start following the road to to uh, to uh, Changsha to make him pull back and then defend it. We caught up here with this fleeing uh, core. We, we're gonna we're, we're gonna smack it. We're still waiting for him to cross in to here. We got a division over there to back him up to push him back east. We're almost at uh, at Wenchao. We're at Yenin. We attacked here. His men retreated west, so they're in the middle of freaking nowhere. So we can pull these guys out of here and go somewhere else with them. And that's pretty much what, what, what's going on. If you enjoyed watching the turn unfold with me, please go ahead and click on that like button. If you're following along the campaign but you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate that as well. And until the next turn comes in, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.